correlation between the VIX and VIX indices. The VIX index is an important market indicator that everyone is watching. VIX, on the other hand, receives less attention. In this post, we are going to take a look at the relationship between the VIX and VIX indices. While the VIX index measures the volatility risks, VIX measures the volatility of volatility risks. Its calculation methodology is similar to the VIX's except that instead of using SPX options it uses VIX options. To study the relationship between these two indices, we first calculated the rolling 20 days correlation of the VIX and VIX returns from January 2007 to March 2020. The median value of correlation is 0.807 and 25% quantile is 0.66. A figure on our website presents the rolling 20 days VIX slash VIX correlation for the last two years. We also superimposed SPY on the chart. We observe that the correlation is usually high but there are periods where it decreases significantly. The current period is one of those. The next figure shows the scatter plot of VIX returns versus VIX returns. It's observed that there is a significant population where VIX and VIX returns are of opposite signs. We subsequently calculated the number of instances where VIX and VIX move in the opposite direction. This indeed happens 22% of the time. Some implications of this study are. Although the correlation between VIX and VIX appears to be high, there is a significant number of instances where VIX and VIX move in the opposite direction. So it's fair to say that VIX follows separate price dynamics which is different from the VIX. In other words, VIX prices in different risks. Long VIX options or SPX back spreads are not always a good hedge for an equity portfolio. The hedge can break down. At times it's cheaper to hedge a long equity portfolio using SPX options. At times it's cheaper using VIX options.